What's up guys, this is Tan Tan here and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna have a look at the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Soundwave from the movie Bumblebee. So first and foremost, as for all the Bumblebee's design, this is a combination of the Michael Bay visions of Transformer and their G1 original design. And this is the Cybertronian Soundwave in his G1 design and colors. And I must say that this is a pretty new thing to me because I have always imagined Soundwave as a slim guy rather than a bulkiness guy like this. But comparing the fact that Soundwave used to be a gladiator with Megatron. So the bulkiness does make sense. And what can I say more that this is a really nice sculpt of Soundwave over here. So first up for Soundwave we must have a look at the head sculpt. And this is a really nice and beautiful head sculpt. We got a lot of details over here. You got a painted red visor. I would have preferred if this is some water clear red plastic. That would be much nicer. But this works for me as well. You got a lot of silver paint in the mouth guard and onto the side of the head. This is really beautiful. The chest section is really nice as well. You of course this is sound wave. You must have the clear chest to inject something out. And this is done in a really nice clear black plastic with some yellow painting and some red highlight and of course the Decepticon sigils on top. And if you look down to his torso, a lot of painted details as well. They even try to recreate that cassette button onto his skirting armor over here. You can see that is really nice. And if you look at the arm section, you've got a lot of paint. You've got white and you've got silver paint inside with a red highlight here and this is a really bulky arms and I enjoy that very, very much. The leg section is also a highlight over here. You got a lot of beautiful sculpted mechanical details and I love I just love the white and I think they are a perfect panel lining opportunities for this that would highlight the figure a lot better. And you got some gold paint onto his leg. And personally I think that this is a great way of having a transformer. You got paint in the area that white and they are highlighting but they are not having any chance of pen trip if you want to play with the figures and that's really nice and if you bend the leg you will see some features over here I want to show you right now so if you bend here this leg armor section actually can pull up and this is somewhat of I, I think that they learned it from the Gundam's model kit but this is a really nice add-on and if you're just gonna strengthen the leg they're just gonna fall in really nicely done and one thing is a pretty bad thing is that the leg inside is actually hollow over here and but don't worry i think some third party is gonna invent some upgrade kit that's gonna fill all those holes inside and one thing that Sunwave does have that really impressed me is the moving armor so you got this here and this here and in my opinion they don't actually mix him got better articulation because i'm just gonna rotate the whole thing but this does look nice if you want to have some poses that he raises his arm a little bit and have something like that. That should be really interesting. And then you got of course his cannon. His cannon. This is a tap so you can actually remove it like that. And you know just put it anywhere you like. You got some paint on to it. You got some red highlight and of course you got a silver barrel which looks really nice and yeah this is a classic and you can also put it that way so like he can hold it like a gun okay. so a uh, sound wave would not be sound wave if he can open his chest and this version of sound wave has got a, a spring loaded gimmick so you guys just press this button here and boom you got an open and this is inside so we put a core class figure which is ravaged in particularly inside but this is that is sold separately so he, he's coming to the next review so stay tuned so inside the chest you got some really nice detail of the gold over here and I absolutely adore that I mean like when I first got the pick of Soundwave I think that this is just gonna be a open and close normal thingy but knowing having this in hand and you see the spring loaded this is really impressive to me so if you look down you can see the skirting armor here got a hinge so it can flip up like that and so because they, the way they design him so it kind of make him feel like he's a little bit fat or I should say bulky but I think this is fine this is perfect and because of the joint of the gun so I think you can also if you want to you can also rotate it like that and you know you know, get some position as some side hips, hips cannon or something I think that works so for accessories apart from the cannon on his shoulders we also got this blaster over here 
which is a blue piece of plastic got painted in really, really nice glossy gunmetal colors and it looks just nice really nice so it attached just by plugging it onto his arms like that and there we go and I think this blaster looks really nice and it can also be stored behind him see this hole so you're just gonna plug it like that and yeah weapon storage and now let's get to some size comparison so for the size comparison here we have Soundwave next to Voyager class Optimus and the Deluxe class B127 and as you can see here he's a really tall Decepticons and this does explain that why in the movies the Autobot fears the Decepticons so much just imagine you have to fight with the guy that twice the height as you I think you would be frightened too and so now let's get to some action and articulation so we begin with the cannon you can move like that and it will not be hindered in the any range of articulation you want and we get the head you can look up and that down like that rotate 360 and the arms can move out you can have either way you can first you can rotate the whole arms or if you want to you can bring up this panel over here and raise his arm from inside both way works you got a bicep swivel you got a bend of the elbow it got double jointed elbows but the armor and the thickness of the arms got in the way you got a waist swivel but to do that i think you just just gonna flip up the skirting armor this is the kick to the front the kick to the back this is a split a beautiful split this is the you got a thigh swivel this is a knee bend double jointed but hinder so you got this extra thingy for to compensate all that you got a pivot nice pivot and this is the movement of the feet so I mean like articulation this is guy is decent for a bulky Voyager class figure and I think that he can pull up most of the posts that I would want him into so stay tuned for that by the end of the video so now let's get to transformation Finishing transforming sound wave. What can I say? This is some sort of a alien Hoover craft. Since we never got to see this guy transform in the movie, we will never know will this be movie accurate or not. But if you flip him around, this is obviously a sound wave doing yoga. And why should I be displaying him in the alternate mode where all that nice details are hidden away when I could just show him in the robot mode and get the glory for himself? Yeah, that should be it for this thing here. It's flat it has no wheels this is obviously a make out so just to get the brand transformer so yeah this should be it and you, you can plug the guns on to as many holes weapon storage and that just should be it now for size comparison and here we have him next to studio 3 short and optimus and as you can see here he's kind of flat but then this is a robot doing yoga so it's gonna be huge so that should be it for today. If you are into Soundwave uh, or into that design and you cannot afford 3A or 3.0, this is a must buy for you. I highly recommend this guy. And next up, let's have a look at his partner in the movie, Ravage. And that will be it for today. So I will see you guys later. Tonton out.